In this video, I'm going to show you how to use math to actually make money with stocks. So this is going to be just an illustrative example just to show you how it can be done. So let's create a fake strategy. Let's say you come up with a strategy for entering a trade. You say that you're going to buy some particular stock or other instrument when the five day simple moving average crosses the 20 day simple moving average. So let's say that's your strategy for buying. And let's also say that you're going to sell when it is X percent below your entry or Y percent above, whichever comes first. So you have a clearly defined entry and exit point for your strategy. Let's also further assume that you're trading the same amount of money every time, just to try to keep everything as constant as possible. So you develop a trading strategy, right? You have some method, and again, this is just super simple. There's all kinds of really complicated things um, that people have created, but let's just keep it simple. This is our strategy. So you have a couple options now. So you can either back test your strategy using some type of software, or you can actually just try to do it. Go out there and like put your money on the line and see what happens. Most people will use some type of software to back test your strategy. So let's say that you, you test this strategy on some historical data and you get the following information. So you have your average loss Per trade and then here you have your average gain per trade and let's say that on average um, you lose let's say you lose $90 so that's dollars on average you lose $90 and um, your average gain let's say is one hundred and sixty dollars okay so on average per trade you're losing 90 and on average per trade you're gaining uh, 160 and let's also say that 60 percent of the time you lost so you you put this through some software and you found out that 60 percent of the time roughly you were you were wrong so you were wrong most of the time and then 40% of the time you won, okay? So what does this tell you? So now you can use some math. You can compute something called the expected value of X, where here X is either your average loss per trade or your average gain per trade. So X is going to be uh, one of two values. It's going to be negative 90 or 160 so it's going to be your average loss or average gain that's what x will be so to compute the expected value of x it's basically your average loss per trade so negative 90 times the probability that you lost which in this case we say it's 60 percent so 0 0.60 plus your average gain per trade so 160 times the probability that you win, so 0.4. And I haven't done this, I'm just making this up on the spot. I just thought I would make this video. So I'm just gonna type this into my calculator. So negative 90 times 0.60 plus 160 times 0.4. So this is 10. So you have an expected value of 10. So what does this mean? This means that in the long run, okay, in the long run, your average loss or gain per trade is going to approach 10, right? Because this is a number that we computed using a calculator and a pencil and a piece of paper. This is, this is not the real world. In the real world, something else will happen. You, you might make a trade and you might lose 200 or you might lose, you know, it, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be different. But in the long run, right, in the long run, your average profit per trade is going to approach $10. So this is positive. 
And that's what you want with any trading strategy. So if you can come up with a trading strategy that has a positive expected value, then in the long run, mathematically, you're guaranteed to be a winner. If you had a negative expected value, then in the long run, you're guaranteed to be a loser. So what you do is you create a strategy, you back test it, you check the expected value. If it's positive, you try it and see what happens. And it kind of gives you some, I guess, hope is the right word, because you might have a couple losing trades, but in theory, in the long run, mathematically, as long as nothing changes in the market, which obviously we can't predict, right? So that's where everything fails, uh, but th th it should work. A good example of this also is casino games. So if you go to a casino, all the casino games have a negative expected value for you as the player. So in general, the casino is going to be the winner in the long run. And that's how casinos stay in business because all of the casino games have negative expected values to you as the player. So kind of an interesting example. So just thought I would show you how in theory um, you could use math to analyze a trading system and determine if it's going to be a winning system or a bad system. So again, it's always, it's your average loss times the probability of losing plus um, your average gain times the probability of winning. Some other tips that people often tend to follow, uh, by the way, when they're doing stuff like this is they try to, um, just common, common tips that people try to do is they keep losses small and they try to make winners big. And you can do that, you can do that by adjusting these parameters up here, right? So for example, here it says sell when it is X percent below your entry. So you limit your losses by making this a small percentage and then sell when it's Y percent above. So typically you make this a bigger number. So just as a silly example, maybe, maybe X is 3% or X is three. So you get 3% rather and Y is four. So it's 4%. So you're taking a 3% loss and a 4% gain. A more extreme example might be six. So maybe let's do six. So you're willing to lose 3%, but you're not gonna be happy until you gain six. These are pretty big moves. So not everyone is gonna go for something like this, but that's just an example. So that way, if you're wrong more often than um, you're right, because your losses are smaller, the expected value might still be positive in the long run. The problem with this is by making Y a bigger number, uh, you know, if you just look at it like, you know, from 50, 50 chance, chances are it's gonna be harder to hit six than it is to hit three. So you're probably going to be losing more. And that's why people study all kinds of stuff like trends and stuff like that. So there's a whole, whole science behind it. But anyways, pretty cool way to analyze a trading strategy. Just pretty random, but I thought I would share it. Good luck.